And when we look at this more at the at the microscopic level, and we look at fascia tissue, you know, what's happening, it's very, very interesting because well-trained fascia tissue is more lattice-shaped and this crimped like halix pattern, if you will, uh, that gets trained and becomes more, you know, dynamic, like, you know, and strong and, ex you know, and, and can store and release energy, you know, kind of like an eraser, if you will, for a lack of, a, a, of, a, of an analogy, where inactive fascia or fascia that's, you know, dormant or, or you know, you're training uh, your emotions in a, in a single plane of motion over time, you get this kind of matted, kind of felt-like fascia. So when you look at the felt material, what is felt, it's fibers all running in all different directions, kind of glued and matted together. That's what causes a lot of injury. Fibers that are, of course, you have your, you know, your, your fascia connective tissue system, but your myofascia, right? Myofascia, fascia interwoven between muscle, between muscle cells, groups of muscles. If that gets, you know, if that becomes more felt-like or matted together, uh, what happens? You get injured. You you pull a you pull a muscle, quote unquote. But what's being really injured? What's causing that injury is the lack of the appropriate training of the fascia and and the muscle combined. So, really, really important.